Hi, welcome to Fitly Vintage, where I take a lighter look on vintage life and style. Today I'm going to show you six awesome methods to tie-dye any garment that you like. And if you like that kind of thing, why don't you subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Now this has been a bit of a tradition in my household for about the last four years. We take last winter's old graying vests and last academic year's um, white polo shirts and we tie dye them to give them a little bit of an extra boost in life through the summer when they would have usually gone to rags. I just use a kit from Amazon, I'll link it down below, do be careful the dust is very very dirty and here are the old greying items that I need to revamp. Now cotton works best, the more man made your material the less the dye will pick up. Right, the first pattern I'm going to show you is the spiral. So pinch in the centre of your garment and then twist either clockwise or counterclockwise until you make a little rosette out of your um, t-shirt or top. And then band. Um, it does look a bit dodgy initially. You're going to band in a star shape, so crossing about six bands over each other. You can then dye each triangular segment a different colour or a complementary colour um, and it will look lovely, I promise. The second I'm going to show you is the horizontal stripes so you're concertinaing your garment from one end to the other and then banding along the length the third is the bullseye pick up your fabric in the center and then again band along the length remember the tighter your elastic bands the more white you will get on your final product the uh, this method is just a random I'm hoping to get small little circles out of this so I'm just pinching random areas and banding them about an inch down this is the crumple technique. You literally scrunch up your fabric and then band wherever you see fit. Very random. This is going to be a diagonal stripes t-shirt. So the same as the horizontal stripes, I'm concertinering from one corner to the other and then again banding along the length. This was a polo shirt that I wanted to bullseye as well, so I did that. Here we are dyeing outside. If you haven't got a space outside to dye your clothes, it's absolutely fine, but please do make sure that you protect your working surfaces because this dye is dye it will dye stuff I'm doing it outside over a black bin bag once you have dyed your fabric and you've thought about the colors that you're dyeing each seg segment unless you particularly are a fan of a brown color you want to make sure that you keep light colors together and think about the colors that that will blend into each other and the color that, that will make in the middle and um, once you have dyed your fabric you need to put it into a plastic bag overnight preferably and then in the morning you want to rinse out that colour with cold water. Once you've rinsed and the water is running pretty clear, cut the bands off. You'll now see the pattern you're going to get and you carry on rinsing with cold water. You can see the white coming through now on this lovely bullseye vest. Once you've done that you're going to want to pop it in the washing machine on a cool-ish normal wash just to get rid of all that extra dye. Please be aware that this dye will stain your hands and actually is a little bit caustic and it made my fingers quite sore as you'll see in a minute so please wear gloves if you can at all points. Um, once they're out of the wash and you've dried them, they'll be ready to wear. This is the spiral. You can see that the dye has dimmed a little, so be prepared for that. When you initially rinse them off, the dye looks very, very vibrant, but after you've washed them once, it will become a little bit more subdued, so be prepared for that. Um, but the final effect is, is really lovely and much, much nicer than grey old t-shirts. I really hope you like the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know if there's something that you do in your household that makes you know it's truly, truly summer. Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to me on my other socials. I'm there at Instagram on fitfully.vintage and also on Facebook at fitfullyvintage. I'll see you there. Bye.